uh, till now we have studied all the header fields of UDP except checksum calculation today we'll see how to calculate this particular checksum we have already noted that checksum is used for error detection during data transmission now this calculation of checksum is basically a two-step process in the first step we perform addition on certain 16-bit numbers what are these uh, certain 16-bit numbers we'll see uh, immediately uh, if there is a carry it is wrapped around to the lowest significant bit this is the first step and in the step two we take one's complement of the final result this is the checksum let's go through these two process uh, two steps once again in the first step we perform addition it's a normal binary addition we perform addition on certain 16 bit numbers what are these certain 16 bit numbers we'll see uh, immediately after this and if there is a carry when we add the numbers if there is a carry at the end this carry is wrapped around to the lowest significant bit and it is added again we'll see with an example in the uh, in the step two uh, the final result is taken and we take the ones complement of the particular result and this final ones complement is known as the checksum uh, let us take our first example this is a without carry example say we have these three 16 bit numbers one two three so in the first step we add these numbers so first this number and this number and this is the addition of these two 16 digit 16 bit numbers this is the first 16 bit number this is the second 16 bit number and this is the addition of these first two numbers then this is again added to this third number this is the third number and this is the result so this is an without carry example there are no carries finally so this is the result of the first step and in the second step once complement of this result is taken so this result is taken and this is the once complement of that result so this particular part this particular thing is known as the checksum this is what we call the checksum next we'll take an example with a carry now this is an example with a carry now again i have three 16 bit numbers so again as before i have added the first two numbers i have this result with this result i have added the third number and then this is the result if you look at this result there is a carry there are 16 bit this is a 17 bit this is a carry and as per the process we would remove this carry from here and add to the lowest significant bit now again this is a normal addition again normal addition and whatever result i would obtain from here that result would be once complemented and this is the full result of this whole process and now that we have seen the process let's see how the exact udp checksum is calculated at the beginning i have told that the udp checksum is calculated over certain 16 bit numbers now let's see what are those 16 bit numbers to calculate the udp checksum we take certain fields we first take the header fields of udp we have already seen this different header fields source port number destination port number and udp length we have seen how this udp length is calculated we take all the data part and then we take some information from the network layer header because we take only some information from the network layer header that's why we call this part pseudo header pseudo header because it's not the actual header of network layer it is some part of the network layer header so we are calling this pseudo header and then the normal udp header now what are those 16 bit numbers these are the 16 bit numbers the source port number we already know what is source port number the destination port number the udp length the 32 bit source ip address so basically ipv4 address are 32 bits so we divide into two parts 16 bit 16 bit and again 32 bit destination ip address 16 bit 16 bit then one there are eight zeros there is an eight bit protocol for udp this number is fixed as 17 17 this number is always 17 then 
again 16 bit udp length uh, look uh, be very careful this thing udp total length this occurs twice here and here so basically what happens you take all the 16 bit number 16 bit from here 16 bit from here 16 bit from here 16 bit from here 16 bit 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 here and again the data divided into 16 bits say i have four bytes of data so 16 bit 16 bit 16 bit 16 bit so i take all the 16 bit numbers all the 16 bit numbers from this part pseudo header header and the data part i add them together and the normal addition which we have seen and if there is a carry that carry is wrapped around the normal process and whatever final result i obtain i take the once complement and then i insert that once complement in this particular checksum field this is how checksum is calculated and inserted then this this total packet this utp segment is now sent to the other side the receiver what the receiver does is it follows the same process it takes all the 16 bit numbers this number this number this 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 is all these numbers and then it also include the checksum this time it adds them all if all the results if the result finally comes out to be all ones then the receiver understand that no uh, no error has taken place during transmission and if some problem arises then this checksum will be not calculated as all ones so this is how the udp receiver decides whether data has arrived correctly or not uh, so say i have this uh, machine uh, this is a source machine not a client machine whose ip address is this given i 192.168.0.31 and it is sending a message to this destination machine uh, the source port is 220 the destination port is 10 and say this machine is simply sending a high message to the other side now given this information you should be able to calculate this exam now to calculate the checksum let's first convert the whole inf uh, information given to binary first we take the pseudo header part so in the pseudo header part we have the source ip address this is the binary format of this ip address then the destination ip address this is the binary of the destination ip address then from the all zeros and 8 bit protocol i have this binary information now how have i obtained this remember first there are eight zeros there are total eight zeros and then this 8-bit protocol this is fixed as 17 for udp not uh, the binary of 17 is this part in 8-bit format then the udp length is 10 bytes how the udp length is 10 bytes if you do not remember please refer to the previous lecture but again apparently there are eight bytes of header plus two bytes of data this data part is only high so this together make 10 bytes so this is the binary of 10 bytes then we are using source port number 20 this is a 16-bit representation of 20 then the transmission port is 10 then this udp length is occurring again so this is 10 bytes and we are sending simple high message to the other side so high is converted into binary as this number remember how we have got this number remember every alphabet has its ascii code so h has a particular ascii code this is the binary of h and again i has a particular ascii code and the binary of the ascii code is this one now how to calculate this section i have to take all 16 bit numbers first i take this 16 bit number add this to this 16 bit number then add this particular six take another 16 bit number then this 16 bit number then 16 this 16 bit number this 16 bit number this 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 all the 16 bit numbers are added if there is a carry wrap it around and add to the lsb and whatever result i obtain i take the once complement and that particular once complement is inserted in the checksum field of the udp header you should be able to do this on your own simply add all the 16 bit numbers the result you obtain to the once complement of the result before that if there is a carry wrap it around then uh, once complement the result and the result is inserted in the checksum field do this homework on your own now that particular packet is transmitted to the other side what the other side does is it again adds all this number all these 16 bit numbers then it also include the checksum after addition 
if the results are all zeros all sorry all ones that means the results come as 16 ones like this 16 numbers of ones then it understand that no error has taken place the data has been transmitted correctly if there is some error during transmission then the receiver will not obtain all ones after doing this particular calculation so this is a fairly easy process how sexam is calculated how is it inserted and how again sexam is uh, verified at the other end this finishes our udp segment structure uh, subsequent class will take a full example uh, of uh, an, uh, of an udp segment and then after that we will directly go into tcp